This is another bit of ultrasound with Z. This time, can ultrasound improve the care of a distal radius fracture? Ultrasound can be useful in the diagnosis and management of fractures. You can quite easily find the fracture, guide the hematoma block, and confirm the reduction. Here we will focus on a very common fracture, the distal radius fracture. It looks like this on the patient, like this on an x-ray, and like this on ultrasound. Notice the very distinct disruption in the bone. To perform the ultrasound, start at a distance from the fracture. Find the cortex of the bone, which is bright white, strongly echogenic, with shadowing behind it. Here is another example of bone cortex. Track along the bone towards the fracture, which will be seen quite clearly whether it is subtle or substantial. After finding the fracture, align it in the center of your field. Then mark this with a pen on the patient's skin. Make the mark a couple centimeters away from where you will be sterilizing and injecting. Perform the hematoma block in standard fashion with your needle entering obliquely into the fracture site. Perform your reduction in the standard manner. Make the patient's wrist look just like new. You can monitor your progress by repeating the ultrasound until you see good alignment. Notice here before and after ultrasound images. Before, after, before, after. Be sure to wipe all of the ultrasound gel away before splinting.